Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Hello family, thank you again for tuning in for another exciting episode with Fafa. Today I'll be sharing three amazing lemonade flavors that I've created in my kitchen, of course. And if this is your first time, you welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Now let's start. Now before we do, please note that you'll find the transcripts of this recipe, including the list of ingredients on my blog, fafagilbert.com. So do check it out and I'll leave a link in the description box. So I'm going to start off by making my syrup. To my saucepan, I'll be adding some water and the next thing I'll be adding will be some sugar. I'm going to allow this to simmer on that medium heat for about 20 to 30 minutes until the contents has halved in quantity. Yes, once I achieve that, I'm going to allow it to chill and then I'll be using it later. But whilst that is simmering away, yes, I'm using my grater and I'm grating the zest of my lemons yes i do not do any waste in this kitchen every aspect of almost every ingredient that is edible that can be used is definitely used so after grating it i'm just going to add a little bit of water and i'm going to blend this yes just to allow all the oils of the lemon to infuse properly so once i do that i use my strainer to strain that to extract all the juice out of it now the next thing i need to then do is extract the juice from the lemons and before i do so i'd massage the lemon so that when i do cut it in two and i'm about to squeeze the juice it will be much easier lucky lemons they're getting a free massage here but they do come in handy for, particularly for this recipe when it's a lemonade. <laughs> So now that I've extracted the lemon juice, I'm going to add that to the lemon zest and mix everything together and refrigerate it whilst I move to my first flavor, which is my grapefruit. I did massage the grapefruit a little bit and here I'm cutting that in half and I'm now going to extract the juice. Now after extracting the juice, I also um, did take some of the flesh out and I blended that mixture together, added a little bit of water and strained it. As I mentioned, there's no waste in my kitchen. It's that sort of my Africa thing in me. <laughs> Just in case you do like what you see and you'd like to support this channel, click the like button and leave a comment or two below. I'd appreciate that. The next flavor I'll be tackling will be my Granny Smith apples. And I love that sort of slight sourness that it has. Yes, and that pairs really well with your lemonade. So place your apples in a blender, add a little bit of water and blend it. And using your strainer, strain your apple juice. Please note that with the Granny Smith apples, immediately you blend it, it does discolor. So it's one that you need to do as a last minute and serve it immediately. The third and final flavor will be a combination of grapes and basil leaves. Such an aromatic flavor. I have washed my grapes and I did refrigerate it overnight. So they're perfectly chilled. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of cold water, blend that and yet again strain it as you can tell so this is a flavor that would definitely impress your guest so now that we've extracted all the flavors now let's do some infusion my favorite part so my ice cubes i did add some ginger and mint leaves and some of them i've got some lemon or lime or rosemary so whatever herbs you have just add a little bit to your ice cubes and freeze it and it's beautiful it's decorative but it also infuses into the water and it just makes it refreshing you can add cucumber as well yes the list is definitely endless now let's pay homage to the can of the recipe which is lemonade itself yes the inspiration came from the lemonade absolutely so let's pay homage to the can so of course i've added my lemonade and to that that's my syrup i'm adding a little bit of syrup and i'm just going to mix everything together until it's well combined and that can be enjoyed on its own so i'm going to serve one and i'm going to reserve the rest because i'll be infusing this lemonade with the rest of the flavors 
Now I can add some of my grapefruit juice to this mixture. So yes, you've got the lemonade and the grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice in itself is very tangy. So it needs that extra sweetness. Yeah, so I've just added a little bit of syrup. Now bear in mind, you know, the amount of syrup or, you know, sweetness or level of sweetness, may I say, comes down to your own personal preference. So you can limit it, you can omit it, whatever suits your personal preference go for it here i've got some frozen grapes yes yeah, so it's just an idea on how to serve it um just freeze some of your grapes add that to your ice cubes and it just makes it all so colorful so after adding my grapes that's been blended with my basil leaves i've also added some of my lemonade and a little bit of my syrup Yet again, you can omit that, mixed everything together, and I'm now ready to serve this. As I mentioned earlier, if you are using the Granny Smith apples, once blended, you need to serve it immediately. So that's the last thing that I've just done here. And I had a few of my basil leaves left, so I did crush it, add that to it. You can also add some mint, you know, don't be shy with the herbs. Be creative, add some oregano, some thyme if you want as well. Just infuse that, that just makes it also delicious. And here I've got my ice cube, that's just got that beautiful ginger in there. I'm just assembling the basil leaves, as you can tell. And I'm just going to be pouring that beautiful flavor in here. Are uh, you definitely inspired to try this recipe? Please don't keep this to yourself. Share with your family and friends. Invite them over to the channel. Yes, it's the best thing you could do for my channel. Absolutely. And here we have the three extra flavors and of course the original flavor. Tell me, is this no refreshing? This is not any other food. This is in do do by Fafa. As I mentioned earlier, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, fafagilbert.com. So do check it out. And whilst you're there, please don't forget to subscribe. You'd also find traditional African recipes on my other blog, in do do by fafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as in do do by Fafa. So pass by and say hi. Neural, thank you ever so much for my theme song you're the real mvp and i've got different recipes that you can try yes absolutely and i'll leave links in the description box and recipes that you can also share with your family and friends now until my next video take care of you be nice be beautiful be gorgeous and guess what me i love you for you thank you very much for watching